The top five Miss Homecoming candidates were announced on Cater Lawn Wednesday night. Seniors Maddie Hickman, Tracy Moore, Jennifer Eaton, Sadie Argo, and Sarah Louise Boland will campaign beginning September 24th, and the winner will be announced at the homecoming game against Southern Mississippi on September 29th. Students will vote for their favorite candidate on September 28th. So I was nominated by Alpha Gamma Delta, and that is the sorority that I am in. I am thrilled to just share my platform with the campus, um, and I hope that the Auburn student body can just see my heart and my love and my passion for my platform. So I can't wait for the day to come that I can go ahead and start sharing it. Oh my gosh, it feels surreal. I still don't think it has resonated with me that I was selected for top five. Um, I'm completely honored, overjoyed, and humbled to have been nominated for top five, but um, I'm so excited for the whole process to begin. I hope that the student body can just see how much love and passion I have for my platform. So I was actually nominated by the Executive Society of the College of Business. They work as the ambassadors for the alumni, visitors, any visiting students that went tours of Louder and the new building. Um, we're really looking forward to that new building and that's how I got involved in that organization. I'm just excited to make a difference on campus. I think whether that means making someone's day a little bit brighter or helping with my platform, I think we have so many ways to make Auburn such a great community for everyone. Such, it's a, complete honor. I'm speechless at the thought. It still hasn't fully hit yet because it is such an honor. Um, I'm so thrilled to experience this and I'm so thrilled to do it with such incredible women by my side. Candidate Tracy Moore said being nominated so and recognized as one of the Delta. top 20 candidates was already such an honor. So to actually have the chance to run for Miss Homecoming feels like an absolute dream. I am overjoyed that I get the opportunity to campaign on a platform that I care for so deeply, especially considering the company I'm in. All of the girls in the top five are incredible women doing big things on Auburn's campus and I cannot wait to get started. Eagle Eye reached out to the other two candidates but did not receive a response before airtime. In other news, Auburn professor's book is the latest inspiration for a Hollywood movie that is already getting Oscar buzz. First Man is based off Auburn history professor James R. Hansen's book, First Man, The Life of Neil A. Armstrong. The film stars Ryan Gosling, Claire Foy, Claire Foy and Kyle Chandler. It depicts NASA's mission to land a man on the moon and Neil Armstrong's first steps. It's directed by Damien Chazelle, Hansen is a co-producer of the film that filmed in Atlanta. The film will be released in October. After the break, hear what happened to the scooters you may have seen around town last week. You're watching Eagle Eye TV, Auburn's news leader. Recently, our country has witnessed catastrophic devastation. Hurricanes and flooding have upended lives and livelihoods. Across this great country, Americans have answered the call. That special calling that compels us when others are down to step up and do whatever it takes. America's at our best when, against all odds, we come together and lift each other up. Please donate to oneamericaappeal.org. America needs you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. This week in Auburn, the electric scooter company Bird is being shut down and impounded, having only operated since August 28th. It wasn't long before Auburn city officials learned that Bird scooters were operating without a business license during the company's university pop-up tour. 
And when Bird was given a day to remove all their scooters, but failed to do so, the city began impounding. However, Auburn's Director of Public Affairs claims the city is currently working with the company on their business license and public safety issues. In a statement to Eagle Eye TV, Bird said, quote, Auburn shares Bird's vision of getting ca cars off the road and to help reduce traffic and carbon emissions. We have reached out to the city officials and are having conversations about building a framework that will allow people, the people of Auburn to continue access to our affordable, environmentally friendly transportation option. Auburn looked to start the season strong with a win versus sixth ranked Washington. Auburn came out hot on the first offensive drive as Ryan Davis catches screen pass for a first down, setting up Jared Stidham to Sal Canella for Auburn's first score of the game. The Tigers would tack on a field goal to extend the lead, but Washington would cut into the lead with a spectacular grab from Quentin Pounds. Auburn's defense would force a turnover as Nick Cole stripped the ball from Jake Browning. Washington would take one point lead on a field goal with nine minutes to go. Freshman Jatarvius Whitlow would give Auburn the lead as he scored his first collegiate touchdown. Auburn would win 21-16 and will return home this weekend to face Alabama State University. You know, we are real pleased. I mean, we beat one of the better teams in, in the country. Uh, we faced some major adversity. Uh, our team found a way to win. You know, a couple things really stand out to me. You know, that last drive offensively, I think that we scored. We had a big third down in 10 where Jarrett, you know, hit Chandler Cox. And that was because uh, we were had, had we were stalled, I think, two, two series before that. Our defense, you know, I think uh, they got inside the 10 or 15, I think, three times, held them to – to three points, I thought that was huge. You know, probably, you know, zero turnovers. You know, as many young guys as touched the ball, real impressed with that and the fact that our defense forced uh, two turnovers, you know. Uh, had some penalties that's really uncharacteristic. Um, we got a lot of things we can correct, but, um, you know, I'm just proud of our team that the way that we won, and sometimes it's how you win a game that can help you later in the season, so real proud of our guys. Auburn fans have high hopes for the 2018 season following Auburn's win over Washington. Auburn fans are looking forward to the upcoming football season, hoping the Tigers will take the win. I think Auburn football is going to be great this year. Um, I know our defense was really well last year. We lost a few players, um, but I think we're really going to come back really well. Also, our offense, we have a great quarterback. Um, I think he's going to be great, Jarrett Sidham. Also, I think we're going to have some great calls, so it's going to be a great year. I think defensively we will. I think offensively we're, we got to find a good running back, but once we find our stride, I think we'll be perfectly fine. Some fans even believe that the Tigers will make it to the national championship this year. It's going to happen. You know, we got a rebound from Georgia last year. You know, we were coming off the two wins from Alabama and Georgia, lost the SC championship, UFC. They can pretend like they won the national championship all they want, but we got it. Many fans are just excited that football season is back. Couldn't wait. I could not wait. I was actually, what I do has to do with customer service. And so yesterday I'll say how excited I was, you know, in War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle to everyone. Good luck, Auburn Tigers. Let's roll. Reporting from Atlanta, Ken Ward, Eagle Eye TV. After the break, Auburn is celebrating the anniversary of one of its most beloved traditions. But here's a quick look at your weather first. You're watching Eagle Eye TV, Auburn's news leader. All the papas out there let's stop what we're doing and take a moment a moment to be with our kids they can be loud moments goofy moments sporty moments dorky moments kooky moments moments where we talk or walk or just hang out it doesn't really matter they all count because every time dads take a moment to be with their kids well it's pretty momentous so let's all take a moment to make a moment today
I'm Ferdinand. You look at me and think big. You think scary, but I'm a little misunderstood. <laughs> Sorry, I almost killed you. Involving misunderstood. I'm not a fighter. Oh, I don't understand that at all. Kids with learning and attention issues like dyslexia and ADHD are misunderstood too. Take the time to understand. Best plan ever. The right support. Everyone can reach their full potential because you can't judge a bull by his cover. Learn more at understood.org. Auburn University is celebrating 75 years at the Auburn Creed. The Creed, written in 1943 by former football coach George Petrie, lists defining characteristics of Auburn men and women. Students, faculty, staff, and alumni are invited to share how the Creed has impacted their life. Merchandise to commemorate the anniversary is also available. That's all we have for you tonight. Be sure to tune in with us this semester and check out our website, eagleeyeauburn.com, Eagle for all the latest Auburn headlines. I'm Ken Ward. And I'm Kaylee Bishop. Thanks for joining us and War Eagle.